Hi, my name is Nick Raines. I'm a professional photographer and as such I deal with large amounts of data because I've got a large amount of photographs. They generally live on a QNAP NAS box. This is a QNAP 453 unit. But the important thing um, that I want to talk to you about right now is the speed of access of that data. You have to get the data from the box to the device so you can see it on the screen. And the faster that connection is, the better. Now most people will have what's called a 1 GBE network, which is 1 gigabit per second network. That's pretty much industry standard and it's fine. Okay, You'll probably get somewhere around 100 megabytes per second transferred between two devices, which is quite reasonable. But if you're editing video or you're trying to move large amounts of data around, that's quite limiting. And I've come up against the limits of that system. So what I've done recently is I've upgraded the whole thing to a 10 GBE network, which is 10 gigabits per second. But it's not quite as straightforward as it might sound because you do need to change some hardware. The actual setup's easy, no problem. It's pretty much plug and play, but you do need to attend to certain bits of hardware. The first thing you need is a network switch and it will have to be a 10 GBE network switch. And QNAP make a 12 port unmanaged network switch, which I've installed with my uh, NAS boxes. You'll also need to be able to connect your devices, such as this laptop, to the network cable itself. Now, most of these devices don't have uh, 10 GBE ports built into them. Some of the Apple iMac Pros do. I think the new Apple Mac Mini has an option for 10 GBE ports, so they are becoming more common, but most devices don't. So what you will need is something like this, which is a QNAP Thunderbolt 3, which is a USB-C cable, Thunderbolt 3, to 10 GBE network adapter. That plugs into the laptop or the iMac, or the PC, and then you connect that to your network with a normal RS45, uh, RJ45 plug. You will also need to upgrade your actual cables because most people have, say, 5E or Category 5E cables. That's the standard ones. They all look the same. They're all blue. I, mean, I guess you can get different colors, but most people will recognize this as a network cable. But you have to read the text on the side, and it needs to be a Category 6A cable. Then it's a case of replacing your existing network switch with the new 12 port 10 GBE switch, plugging your devices into your cables with these adapters, and that's pretty much it. Important thing is the speed. Now let me just show you using uh, a speed testing bit of software that I've got, just exactly what I mean by speed. And I'm gonna compare wireless with normal 1 GBE with 10 GBE speeds. Let me just do that right now. These are the sorts of speeds you'd get from a Wi-Fi network, about 10 megabytes per second, which is fine for emails, but with a normal wired 1 GBE network, you'd expect to get around about 100 megabytes per second, which is at least 10 times faster, and read speed of about the same. That's fine, but let's look at what we'll get from a 10 GBE network, and that's 400, almost 400 megabytes per second. That's on write, and read is 528 per second, which is a lot. Now, if you're wondering why it's not 10 times as much, it's because it's limited by the actual speed of the hard drives and the de devices. If you had SSD drives in them or something really fast like that, you might get over a thousand megabytes per second. Okay, you can see how much faster 10 GBE is, and that saves me time. It saves me a lot of time. I'm constantly moving back pictures backwards and forwards, and Lightroom particularly, which is my main piece of software, really likes to have very quick access to the image data itself. Um, setup, not difficult at all. I quite literally took everything out of the box, plugged it all in, and it worked. It was really that simple. I think the total time it took me was no more than half an hour. So it's not a daunting prospect, but the benefits that you get from the upgraded network will save you so much time that I, I just cannot recommend it too highly.